So I had a question that came across to me today from a teacher that I work with and I thought I'd make a video to help uh, that individual and anybody else who's having these issues. The question was how do you load Zoom videos or other videos or other documents into Schoology uh, for the students to view if they weren't able to attend or you made a, um, a Zoom video personally with no attendees and then you wanted to just download that. So what you're going to do is I'll show you what one looks like that's already been downloaded for mine. I'm going to try to pick a short one here. So I'm going to go into this file right here and let's see. And this is a Zoom that I've already loaded before. So once right, it's loaded, so this, you can hit play. You can uh, go forward this is be our and then the students can make it larger. Um, smaller, etc. So that's one of them that I've loaded, so that's what it looks like when it's done. So let me just load one. I'll just load it into this folder even though it's not belonging here. So we're going to hit Add Materials, and then we're going to hit Add File Link External Tool, then hit File, and then we're not going to do a link today. I'll do a different video on that if I have that question. But we're going to hit Attach Files, and then let's say you're looking for a Zoom recording or other recordings that you have. Um, they're all going to be listed here and then rename them. When Zoom makes a recording, it's just listed as Zoom MP3 1 or 0 or whatever. So I'm going to go back to one that I've renamed uh, 2.5, 2.6. So there is that um, what I want to load. I'm going to move over here. So then I'm going to hit open. And I'll slide back down here. And it's going to take a little bit of time. This one's a smaller one. This is about a 12 minute um, session. The quality is okay, it's not quite the quality when you probably record the first time, um, but it's still fine. So once this is uh, loaded across, we'll, I'll hit add. If it's a larger file, this will take longer. And then the other thing that can happen, I'll hit add, is when you go back and look for it, um, I use a lot of uh, the end sign, so I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to just take that out. So I would recommend just using the word end. Okay. Hit save changes and let me see if it's already downloaded. It did, but sometimes don't be shocked. I'm going to show you a video that I loaded earlier today in my other class. So I'm going to leave this course and go to my uh, advanced chem class. So for example, today I loaded into the stoichiometry unit um, in the videos here. I loaded this Zoom session right here, but this is a much larger session and it still says it's downloading. So at this point, if a student wanted this, it would go onto their computer and then they'd have to delete it. So that's um, one place that you can put them. The other thing that I did with this group is you can put them in the updates also. You cannot put them in the calendar. So right here I made an update where I talked about the Zoom session and then I loaded it in there also. So those are your options to load. Um, files. So let me just go back to uh, AP Chem. So again, you pick the folder that you want. You just, um, let's say I want to again put it in Unit 1. Let's say I want to put it in 1.4 to 1.5. I would hit Add Materials, Add File Link External Tool, right here File, then Attach Files, and then go find what you're looking for. Um, let's even say I want to uh, do this one right here. I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's just a screen recording of how to do something. Or let's say it's a longer, uh, this is a video that I actually put out on YouTube that's an MP4, but that's a little bit larger file. So you got to be careful how large the file is, if it can be loaded or not. All right. So I'm going to hit close on this because I don't want to load that in. And close on this. And then that's it. So hopefully that helped you load some documents into uh, Schoology. Remember, if you have trouble, um, that the add materials is where you want to go, add file, link, external tool, and then, like I said, file. This link is for if you were to pull in like a YouTube or a Google link, so you'd paste that link in there. I actually think I even have one there, and then you would just title it whatever you want to title it and then hit add. All right, so hopefully that helped you add some things into Schoology for your students to view.